Technical Veterinary Learning TVL channel presents today the first part of clarifying and explanation of equine rhinopneumonitis, equine herpes viruses infection by Professor Ahmad Mamdouh Al Sharif, Department of Veterinary Medicine, Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, Ben Swift University. Equine rhinopneumonitis is a viral contagious disease by means that it is distributed by direct and indirect ways. Equine herpes virus infection or equine rhinopneumonitis characterized by Number one, latency, which means that some clinical signs take a long time to appear, such as a portion that linked to pregnancy of mares occurrence. Number two, respiratory signs, as sneezing, coughing, with different signs of pneumonia, a portion of pregnant mares. Falls may be aborted or still birth by means that they are suffering from fatal disturbances. 5. Myeloencephalopathy with nervous signs of infected horses. Diagnosis of equine herpes virus infection or the equine rhinopneumonitis. Pathogenic risk factor Pathogenic risk factor of equine rhinopneumonitis are equine herpes viruses. Equine herpes virus 1, 3 and 4 which belongs to alpha herpes viruses. Equine herpes virus 2 that belongs to gamma herpes viruses. This picture shows equine herpes viruses that detected by fluorescent antibody technique where viruses are illuminated greenish. This picture clarify the genomic tree of herpes viruses where 0.2 is the only divergence between gamma herpes viruses, alpha herpes viruses and beta herpes viruses. It is a picture of 3D shape of herpes viruses in the blood of a feverish horse. This is schedule summarize the relationship between clinical science disturbance and pathogenic risk factor of herpes viruses in infected horses where respiratory disease caused by equine herpes virus 1, 2 and 4. A portion is caused by equine herpes virus 1 and rarely equine herpes virus 4. Prenatal disease of falls and myeloencephalopathy as well as genital disease is caused all by equine herpes virus 1. Coital exanthema is caused by equine herpes virus 3. Equine herpes viruses survives in the surrounding atmosphere for about two to six weeks by means that secretions and excretions from infected equines will be dangerous for about these times. Equine herpes viruses killed by phenol, acids and ether. This is an important information as it used in hygienic control of the disease. Preparations from latter materials could be used for cleansing of barns and different equipments of equine to prevent transmission of the viruses between sound animals and diseased one. Equine rhinopneumonitis in previously infected animals could be reactivated. This reactivation will lead to appearance of mild clinical signs as well as virus shedding in the nature. So, previously infected horses act as a continuous source of the disease. Thus, prevention of stresses apart from equines is an important step in control of this disease. 
Equine herpes virus infection resulted in a short duration of immunity. So, equines could contract the disease several times during their life. Mares that infected with equine herpes virus will abort for an only time in their life. False born from recovered mares of the disease or immunized by the vaccine will acquire protective passive immunity for six months. So these foals revaccinated at six months of age according to a schedule will explain in the progression of this presentation. Distribution of equine herpes viruses. It is a worldwide disease, especially in United States and Europe, and this will be shown in the following maps. This is a distribution map of equine rhinopneumonitis according to the OIE in the period between January and June 2019. There is no officially reports about presence of equine rhinopneumonitis all over the world. The same situation of distribution of equine rhinopneumonitis noted at the same period of Jan to June 2018. There is no distribution officially of equine rhinopneumonitis all over the world. According to the OIE office, at the late period of 2018, at the period between July and December, there is no officially reports about equine rhinopneumonitis all over the world. Species susceptibility to infection by equine rhinopneumonitis virus. Equines of all ages and species are susceptible. Equine rhinopneumonitis most commonly occur in the winter and autumn. Stress factors such as transportation, weaning, and overcrowding of the animal causes high susceptibility of all equines under the action of these stress factors. Sources of infection All secretions and excretions of all clinically diseased equines by equine rhinopneumonitis are an excellent source of infection. Transmission of equine rhinopneumonitis infection Transmission of equine rhinopneumonitis occurs through Direct contact with all secretions and excretions of all clinically diseased equines, inhalation of droplets, ingestion of contaminated of food and water with these latter excretions and excretions. Direct contact between diseased and sound horse leads to infection with equine renal pneumonitis disease.